Ecocha exclusively represents specialty Taiwan tea with over 25 years of immersion in the Taiwanese tea industry and tea culture. And today we're here tasting summer 2020 uh, compared with the recent fall 2020 harvest of Shanlin Shi High Mountain Oolong tea. I brewed nine grams of tea leaves in 150 milliliters of water for two minutes first and then again for one minute. So two minute brew and then a one minute brew, nine grams of leaves, 150 cc's of water. And the aroma coming off the brewed leaves is really nice. This is summer. Uh, sweet, floral, slight buttery notes. Much deeper uh, herbal savory notes coming off the fall. Really interesting, more foresty-ness, and this is a uh, more uh, slightly flowery butteriness. Um, and the brood teas are very close. I see a slight darker hue in the fall tea in the first brew. Uh, surprisingly enough, the second brew uh, looks like the summer tea is slightly darker. So they're quite close. The dried leaves um, look like the summer leaves are slightly more mature. There's a little more varied coloration and stem material in the summer leaves. Uh, the fall leaves are nice and dark, pretty uniform in size and color, uh, especially relatively. Uh, but that's natural. The, the summer harvest, second harvest of the year, June, is still in its kind of spring vegetal uh, phase in terms of its annual cycle. So it grows faster and the stems uh, are longer, naturally. Okay, let's have a sip. Cooled down now, really nice balanced, sweet um, pastry. Both the summer and the fall are significantly more oxidized, and not a lot, but noticeably, I should say slightly more oxidized than spring and winter. <clears throat> and it's basically manipulating the leaves to prevent astringency to uh, break down those green compounds into something uh, a little sweeter, a little more balanced. The fall tea is it's got that deep, deeper foresty character. It kind of it's a lighter it's a lighter version, but the flavor notes remind me of a winter tea. But uh, what the summer has in its kind of flower, uh, flowery pastry character, the fall has in a savory, slightly more earthy character. Let's go for the second brew. Yeah, kind of more of the same. The, the second brew is, the texture seems even smoother, but it has a, a, a more uh, light aromatic quality to it. This is a little stronger, of course, being brewed for twice as long. I was sipping too much, I'm gonna go for it here. Deeper, uh, not as floral for sure, uh, but something uh, a deeper character, uh, more oxidized. I'd say for sure the, the character of the fall tea has a more oxidized flavor profile. It's uh, mellowed and um, some of the, the more uh, fresh floral notes have turned into, uh, it's hard to describe, a woody or foresty character, slightly earthy with savory overtones. Yeah, the, the second brew, so again, it was two minutes first brew and then one minute for the second brew, is uh, it's got more uh, nose to it. It's got the body, but there's some more complexity to it. So 
This is what is enriching about being able to source each harvest of the year. You get to compare if you're if you have the last batch you can do it side by side or just slowly over the years get to know the different seasons and how they turn out. Season by season there may be patterns but definitely there are subtle differences in flavor profiles from the same plot of tea just harvested the leaves grew uh, a few months apart or in this case two months apart between uh, June and August. And both the June uh, and August or summer and fall harvests are considerably cheaper in cost. That's just how the industry has um, developed here. Spring and winter are promoted uh, much more so and we get to procure uh, the in-between harvests for a much more reasonable price. So we're able to offer them to you for a much more reasonable price. And that's kind of an added motivation to uh, getting some of each harvest and experiencing what each season has to offer. So there you have it, Shanlinshi High Mountain Oolong Tea. Uh, our new fall 2020 batch is in stock now and you can get it for uh, way cheaper than spring and winter tea. So we encourage you to give it a try. It's quite good. And uh, it's these, uh, our good friend is the farmer who manages these uh, plots of tea and his partner is renowned for creating award-winning competition tea in the Lugu uh, Farmers Association Dongding Oolong Tea Competition. Uh, he processes these harvests as high mountain tea, but they definitely have uh, a noticeable, uh, a, a next level of oxidation. And in terms of the finesse and manipulation of the leaves, I've never tasted a batch of tea made by him that was uh, noticeably astringent. No matter what the conditions are in each season, he's able to achieve a balanced character uh, in the flavor profile. <clears throat> So that uh, is what we feel uh, very confident in offering each batch of tea and knowing that whatever we get from this source, it's always representative of some of the best pros in the local industry. So we encourage you to uh, check it out. You can go to our website, ecocha.com, click on unroasted oolongs, and you will find the Shan and Shi High Mountain oolong tea in that category. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get all of our updates and news. Um, and click that like button and share with uh, anyone that you think might be interested in hearing about this kind of stuff. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you when winter Shan and she rolls around.